Welcome to the quick start video guide for Masterpiece Manager version 10. This video is going to focus on the main things to do in the system before you officially start to enter your data. It is listed in six separate categories, but you can do them in any order that you like. It is just recommended that you populate each category before getting started, as this will make your use of the program much more efficient. Also, this is just an overview of what to do before getting started. Every category in this getting started guide is covered in detail in separate dedicated videos. That being said, let's get started. First thing you'll want to do is go to the Company tab and put in your company information. To do that, just go to the Administration tab and then click on the Company icon. So you'll just put in your company name, your address, city, state, and any other information about your company. You can upload your logo and some terms and conditions to put on your receipt. There are three main things you want to do from here, and that's the General tab, Purchase tab, and Email settings. The purchase tab is where you'll uh, select the options of how Masterpiece is going to calculate the consignment and commissions. So for example, in this one I have consignment calculations, artist is going to be paid a percentage of payment. So every time I get a layaway payment, the artist is going to get paid. And commission, um, when, once a sale is immediately made, the staff is paid whether I get payment or not. Um, and then just go ahead and choose which option applies to your gallery so that Masterpiece will calculate accordingly and then hit save. Next thing is the email settings. This is for the email marketing tool in Masterpiece. Uh, basically, you'll put in what email address you want it to, the emails to be from and what's the from name. So you may have uh, from sales at yourgallery.com, from name is uh, sales. Uh, and then just hit save. After entering company information, the next step is to enter stock locations. To enter stock locations, just click on the administration tab and then the stock locations icon. Masterpiece comes with several default stock locations that can't be modified or edited, such as um, stock, sold, approval, RTA, leases, um, and, and so forth. However, you can add your own locations by hitting the add button and then typing in the new location. Type in the new location and just hit OK. And that's it for stock locations. Next step is staff management, also known as your staff members. To go to staff management, just click on the administration tab and choose the staff management icon. You'll just hit the add button to add new staff members. I'm just gonna go ahead and open one that already exists so you get an idea of what it looks like. But basically just fill out the information for each staff member. Um, particularly important is the user role um, in case you need the user role to do only specific tasks, and then the tax type and location. Typically, each staff member will only have one tax type and location. Um, location has to do with physical gallery locations, and then tax type, um, every time you open up a new cell, uh, you may want it to always go to the local tax type, or you may want it to always do tax-free because you ship most of your stuff. But either way, here is where you'll set that so that it makes the new sale process much more efficient. Next step is your tax information. This is particularly important if you use Masterpiece to do transactions. To access the tax information, just click on the Administration tab, and then there are three boxes, your tax authorities, tax details, and tax type. Masterpiece comes with default uh, text for each one of these, but you can always rename it to fit your particular situation. So you may want to rename the uh, State Department uh, New Mexico Department of Revenue or Arizona Department of Revenue, um, although you don't have to rename them. Um, once you do the tax details, you'll just basically set up your, your tax rates on the tax details. For example, your state sales tax might be uh, uh, 3%. And then your tax types, you'll just go ahead and attach your tax details to the tax type and then set a default to which one that you need to be the default tax type. I'm going to set local, city, county, and state for a total tax rate of 7.8%. Another initial thing you'll want to do is enter your contacts. To enter your contacts, click on the Contact Manager tab and then click on All Contacts. So all your contacts go into the contact management module, such as your artists, your vendors, your customers, your galleries, or any other special uh, contacts that you have in the system. The reason why you want to enter a contact uh, first before you enter your inventory is because when you enter your inventory, you can't just enter a contact and save. You have to choose your contact from your list of contacts. 
Um, so obviously if you don't have an artist list in your contacts, then you can't save an artist attached to an item. So this is why this is important adding it before you start entering your inventory. Categories and mediums. To get to categories and mediums, just click on the inventory tab and then click on the categories and media icon. Similar to contacts, you have to have a category medium entered into the category medium uh, module before you can attach it in the inventory. So again, this is the reason why it's important to enter it in first. To enter a new category, just hit, or medium, just hit the add button and put in the category or medium. So in this case, if it's an original, you'll just type in original and hit OK. If it's a medium to original, for example, oil on board, then what you'll do is you'll put in the medium, you'll check the box that says is medium, and then attach it to the parrot category, such as originals, and then just hit OK.